Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mary and today we'll be watching Field of Dreams. I don't really know what it's about except that it's about sports and I think it's baseball. This is really confusing because it doesn't really happen here much so I confuse a lot of the sports that are very massive and big in America so it could be American football but I think it's what we call rugby. I don't know actually so don't <laughs> hate me for this but I think it's about sports and other than that I feel like if I'm listening to the name I feel like or it could be a very beautiful romantic vibe movie or like more of a painful dark one but like like it feels so wavy and sweet i don't know feel of dreams it sounds so like oh might be completely wrong if i if this is gonna be like a crime thriller but i wouldn't be surprised let's just jump into it because i could keep guessing all day long if you like reactions like these make sure to like and subscribe and as always if you like this full reaction you can always find that over on patreon i hope you like this reaction let's go Shoeless Joe. I feel like the music already has that vibe what I was thinking with the field of dreams, like the emotional dreams. My father's name was John Kinsella. He settled in Chicago where he quickly learned to live and die with the White Sox. Died a lot the following summer when eight members of the team were accused of throwing that series. He played in the minors for a year or two, but nothing ever came of it. So that's baseball, right? Married mom in 38 and was already an old man working at the naval yards when I was born in 1952. Instead of Mother Goose, I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth uh. and the great shoeless Joe Jackson. Dad was a Yankees fan then, so of course I rooted for Brooklyn. But in 58, the Dodgers moved away, so we had to find other things to fight about. When it came time to go to college, I picked the farthest one from home I could find. Berkeley. Officially, my major was English, but really it was the 60s. <laughs> I marched, I smoked some grass, and I met Annie. The only thing we had in common was that she came from Iowa, and I had once heard of Iowa. <laughs> That's so wholesome. After graduation, we moved to the Midwest and stayed with her family as long as we could. Almost a full afternoon. Annie and I got married in June of 74. Dad died that fall. Oh, no. Then Annie got the crazy idea that she could talk me into buying a farm. I'm 36 years old, I love my family, I love baseball, and I'm about to become a farmer. But until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. The voice? Um... <laughs> Annie, what was that? What a cozy... Oh my god, I want to live there. We didn't hear anything. That's scary, though. If you build it, he will come. Hey, come on into dinner. What a giant house. And so much land. Oh my god. <laughs> the dream. Is there like a sound truck on the highway or something? Nope. Kids are the radio? Nope. Hey, are you really hearing voices? Just one. If you build it, he will come. What does he need to build? <laughs> Who will come? He didn't say. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> the directions are unclear. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine that. I would build it very quickly, but... Or not though. Do you want him to come? <laughs> I'm just talking to the cornfield. Cornfield is talking back. <laughs> and I, I heard this voice. Why did you do that? It was funny. She's adorable. Oh, I'll take her today. I got some errands to do in town. What if the voice calls while you're gone? Bye. Bye. Oh my God, how cute is she? <laughs> Go get over this. Did you uh, ever? But it's just I've heard that sometimes farmers out in the field they they hear things, you know, voices. You hearing voices? No, no, no. It's just that. I... So hard to admit to somebody. Who's hearing voices? Ray is. <laughs> I'm just gonna get some three in one oil and that ought to do it. <laughs> it gives me strong Ross from Friends vibe. Yeah, no, no, something's not Ross. No. <laughs> if you build it, he will come. Maybe ask a question or something. Oh, what? <laughs> a field. <laughs> field of dreams. Okay, Marie. Marie. 
He has a big field. You could miss a little spot, no? I think I know what if you build it, he will come means. Ooh, why do I not think this is such a good thing? I think it means that if I build a baseball field out there, that shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back and play ball again. I don't know if she likes this. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard. He's shoeless Joe. He's dead. Died in 51, he's dead. He's the one they suspended, right? They're so cute together as well. They really have that like perfect family thing going on. Are you actually thinking of doing this? No. Mm -hmm. I'm 36 years old. I have a wife, a child, and a mortgage, and I'm scared to death I'm turning into my father. Oh. He must have had dreams. You know? He never did anything about him. Well, I know him. May have even heard voices too. Oh, this is really sad. I never did one spontaneous thing in all the years I knew him. You're 36, you know? Like, I get what he's saying, but I also feel like it's not like it's lost chance. Do you think I'm crazy? Yes. I like her. If you really feel you should do this, then you should do it. This is so sweet. I wonder in real life, many women might be like, good story, have a good night. We're, no. Good night. <laughs> This is sweet. I like the vibes of this. The whole village is looking. <laughs> Ty Cobb called him the greatest left fielder of all time. Oh my god, I sat with my dad on the tractor so many times when I was little. My grandparents had a farm. Well, when he was still in the minors, he'd bought a new pair of spikes and they hurt his feet. So about the sixth inning, he took them off and played the rest of the game in just his socks. Then in 1919, his team, the Chicago White Sox, they threw the World Series. What threw? Means they lost it on purpose. Except she was Joe. She's helping. Oh my God. I mean, if he's supposed to be throwing, how do you explain the fact that he hit 375 for the series and didn't commit one error? Huh? I can't. 12 hits, including the series' only home run. The commissioner of baseball suspended eight of the players, including the great shoeless Joe Jackson, for life. That went well. I have just created something totally illogical. Am I completely nuts? Yes. It's a good baseball field, Ray. <laughs> They're so tiny. Well, they still have their house and their farm and the kid and each other, so honestly. I want to put a badminton net when we move to the house, so that's something. <laughs> Feel it. Is it just me or does he just sound like Ross? I, like, I know, or is it the accent from the area or something? I'm so confused. Considering how much less acreage we have for corn, I say we'll probably almost break even. So it does. Oh no, I didn't think it was going to be that awful. You can't keep the field. Makes it real hard to keep the farm. Could they not like do it for a couple of months? There's a man out there in your lawn. Which in any other case would be scary, but now seems wholesome. <laughs> Damn, I'm so like, <gasps> what's gonna happen? Like, we're still so early in the movie, so like, what? We've seen it in something else, in another movie too. Was it Goodfellas? Oh my god. <laughs> let's not speak, let's play ball. Oh, cringy. Sorry. Does he not need to start running? Oh, whoa, look at him. Ray Kinsella. Joe Jackson. Uh, he's dead, though. <laughs> His wife could see him, too, so... Getting thrown out of baseball was like having part of me amputated. Aww. I'd wake up at night with the smell of the ballpark in my nose. The thrill of the grass. I love this scenery. Like, it's so quiet and you just hear the insects. It's so, like, cozy nighttime. Nice hit. See if you can hit my curve. Whoa! <laughs> He's 
so like happy like on such a deep level like this is the best thing that ever happened to him and i did love this game <laughs> what's with the lights oh my god yes they didn't have them before yeah well the owners found that more people could attend night games owners <laughs> Oh, we can't get off the field. <gasps> are you a ghost? Karen. <laughs> it's a good question. What do you think? Ooh. You look real to me. Well, then I guess I'm real. Would you like to come inside? I don't think I can. Can I come back again? Yes. There were eight of us. It really mean a lot to them. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> the whole crew is going. Is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. We're keeping this field. <laughs> you bet your ass we are. <laughs> Even I would keep the fields. The stupid baseball field's gonna bankrupt you. Everybody knows it. Oh, that's awful. Ray. Thanks, Mark, but no. No. Okay. Well, Ray. No. All right, well, let me ask you this. What are you holding on to this place for? Nobody wants to sell it to you. True. You've never liked farming. It is true. You don't know the first thing about it. I know a lot about farming. Oh, you do? Yeah, oh, I know yeah. a lot more than you think I know. Well, then how could you plow under your major crop? What's a crop? <laughs> Daddy, the baseball game is on. Excuse us. I mean, I'm trying to bail him out and he goes off to watch television. <laughs> They're all there. two classes of this in high school and uh i was behind the girl that was smacking and uh, she threw the bat in my face so i played it once <laughs> if you'd run like that against detroit i don't want 20 games that year <laughs> oh. it's okay i don't mind all right, all right, all right, all right <laughs> my god i We've seen a lot of cute kids in movies, but this one, she's like, <laughs> I want to hug her, and I think she's gonna make a <laughs> sound. <laughs> like the dolls that go like, <laughs> It's June, so I'm here with my new Patreon mention. This month on Patreon exclusively, you can find the movie a Civil Action, which is a legal movie, and I'm a legal lady, so that one was a big hit. I also post the show A New I'm always gonna say A New Pope, but I think there is a show called A New Pope. I did watch. A young pope which was absolutely incredible so if you want to see that that will be going to patreon exclusively also a lot of people don't seem to know that better call Saul is there so if you want to see all the seasons with our dear friend jimmy better call patreon <laughs> everything all the seasons i'm continuing the wire as well we are at season three right now so if you want to join this month you can get wire season one two and three on patreon that being said, I'm going to start with Full Metal Alchemist on YouTube, which I'm so excited for. I'm still in the beginning, but I've been loving it so far. It's heart crushing also, right? The beginning. But on Patreon, I'm always two weeks ahead. So if you want to see more episodes of Stranger Things, Sopranos and Full Metal Alchemist, and you cannot wait for YouTube, those are always available on Patreon two weeks ahead. Okay, I'm going to rest now because my voice is completely gone. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your video. Have a good day. Honey, um, mom and everybody's leaving now. Can they see this too or not? So I thought you two were gonna watch some game. They can't see it. Rusty? See, there's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. Honey. Karen, honey, uh, what are you watching? The baseball man. Do you see the baseball man right now? Of course I do. You really don't see him? You don't see these people? It's not funny, Annie. Okay, why is... This is really interesting. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm melting a bit, you know? It's so cozy, it's so awesome. I'm melting! I'm melting! <laughs> what? On the... I didn't understand. What? Ease his pain. What the, what the hell does that mean? Ease his pain? What pain? Make him be unsuspended. God, he did so much that he's another voice. Imagine me like, let me go. 
You don't have to build a football field now, do you? Football is a rugby, right? I feel like a baseball I got down, but like... I was having a fun day today, you know, a good day. Aww. Wanna fry? Wanna fry. <laughs> Smut and filth like this has no place in our schools. That book you're waving about, it is considered by many critics to be the classic novel about the 1960s. And its author, Mr. Mann... Is sick! Terrence Mann is a Pulitzer Prize winner. Yeah, well, I think he's a pervert. What planet are these people from? Mr. <laughs> And that is why right-thinking school boards all across the country have been banning this man. S-H-I-T. You, you, you know why he stopped writing books? Because he masturbates. <laughs> Excuse me. Terrence Mann was a warm and gentle voice of reason during a time of great madness. He coined the phrase, make love, not war. While other people were chanting, burn, baby, burn, he was talking about love and peace and understanding. I hope he's listening to her at least a little bit. And I think if you had experienced even a little bit of the 60s, you might feel the same way too. I experienced the 60s. No, I think you had two 50s and moved right on into the 70s. Whoa, burn, baby, burn. Well, your husband plowed under his corn and built a baseball field. Now, there's an intelligent response. Annie. The weirdo. <laughs> Annie. Honey, at least he is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. I'm not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. All right, Beulah, do you want to step outside? <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Who's for Eva Braun here? <laughs> Who wants to burn books? <laughs> Who wants to spit on the Constitution of the United States of America? Anybody? Now, who's for the Bill of Rights? Who thinks freedom is a pretty darn good thing? Come on, come on, let's see those hands! <laughs> Who thinks that we have to stand up to the kind of censorship that they had under Stalin? <laughs> You're calling her Eva Brown. <laughs> We gotta go. We gotta go. This is great! Ah! You got greater one. I figured it out. Get that outside, you Nazi cat. I know, I know, I know whose pain I'm supposed to eat. What? I know whose pain it is I'm supposed to eat. Wait, I just halted the spread of neo-fascism in America. You're talking... Terrence Mann. Yeah? Well, what's his pain? I don't know. Well, how are you supposed to eat it? I don't know. Ray. Oh, give her a moment. But what's Terrence Mann got to do with baseball? Oh, so it has nothing to do with the previous team. Interesting. And it's incredible. By the early 70s, the guy decides people have become either too extremist or too apathetic to listen to him. So he, st so he, he stops writing books. He starts writing poetry about whales and stuff. And then he starts fooling around with a home computer. He gets hooked. You know, you know what he does now? Nope. He writes software for interactive children's videos. And they <laughs> teach kids how to resolve their conflicts peacefully. It's not his best work, but the hero of the story, a character that man created 26 years ago, is named John Kinsella. My father. Oh, what? Okay, the last interview he ever gave was in 1973. I also want to be in a track driving to the country. As a child, my earliest recurring dream was to play at Ebbets Field with Jackie Robinson and the Brooklyn Dodgers. Of course, it never happened, and the Dodgers left Brooklyn and they tore down Ebbets Field. But even now, I still dream that dream. Let's make it happen. I mean, the guy hung out with the Beatles. No. But in the end, it wasn't enough. And what he missed was baseball. Oh, my God. What? As a small boy, he had a bat named Rosebud. <laughs> in order to ease his pain, you're supposed to take him to a ball game. I hope he can see them or not, because otherwise it would be really awkward. I'm going to have to nip this one in the bud. We are having moderate to heavy financial difficulties here. And you can't take off for Boston while we're going broke in Iowa. Why do you have to go? Huh? That's a... Yep. Now look, I understand your need to prove to yourself and to the world you are not turning into your father. But you've done it. Look, you believed in the magic. It happened. Isn't that enough? Annie, it's more than that. I feel like I'm on her side on this one. Like, it's not worth losing your home. But there's something at Fenway Park, and I gotta be there with Terrence Mann to find it out. Is Fenway the one with the big green wall in left field? I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. Was I sitting on the first base side? About halfway up on the aisle? Yeah, you were keeping score. And I was eating a hot, hot dog. dog. I had the same dream. <sighs> I'll help you pack. So 
fuck the horse. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Go away. <laughs> Poor guy. Two blocks down, right hand side. First door that don't have a chicken in the window is his. What? <laughs> well, the directions were clear. Hello, I'm here to ease your pain. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Sir, my name's Ray Kinsella. Got a learning disability here? Oh, oh, whoa. I don't give interviews and I'm no longer a public figure. I just want to be left alone. So piss off. Uh, wait, wait. Look, I've come 1,500 miles to see you at the risk of losing my home and alienating my wife. <laughs> One minute. Okay, so begging was the right way to go. I wouldn't dream of intruding if this weren't extremely important. Oh, God. I don't do causes anymore. He has a great voice. <laughs> you once wrote, there comes a time when all the cosmic tumblers have clicked into place and the universe opens itself up for a few seconds to show you what's possible. Oh my God. You're from the 60s. Oh, hey. Back to the 60s. Wait a back. second. There's no place for you here Just... in the future. Get back while you still can. Maybe you should come to the point quicker. How about this? Peace, love, dope. Now get the hell out of here. Oh, it's a lot of aggression. Oh man, what a cold shower for him. Oh no, don't break in. No. <laughs> this is not an opportunity. <laughs> oh no, he's acting like he's a gun. <laughs> so silly. You really pissed me off. Okay, just hold it. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to do it this way. It's a gun. What do you think it is? It's your finger. No, it's not. It's a gun. Yeah, let me see it. Get out of here. I'm not going to show you my gun. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. I just need you to come with me for a little while. And... He's going to get an actual gun. I'm going to beat you with a crowbar and then you go away. Whoa, wait. You, can... you can't do that. There are rules here? Oh, no. There are no rules here. You're a pacifist. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I have to take you to a baseball game. Red Sox A's. Why? Why? <laughs> Something will happen there. I don't. I don't know what, but we'll find out when it does. It will ease your pain. I swear to God, I am the least crazy person I have ever known. Then why are you kidnapping me to a baseball game? <laughs> I heard a voice. I read an interview you gave a long time ago about how you always dreamed of playing at Ebbets Field and how sad you felt when they tore it down. I never said that. I don't even recall thinking that. This whole thing is so weird. Is he the right guy? <laughs> it's a long story, but it's a really good story. And I'll tell you on the way. If you just come to this game with me, I swear to God, I will never bother you again. Not even, not even a Christmas card. Damn, look at those stadiums. Crazy, all big. Don't you miss being involved? I was the East Coast distributor of involved. Then they killed Martin, they killed Bobby, they elected Tricky Dick. Twice. Now people like you think I, I must be miserable because I'm not involved anymore. I spent all my misery years ago. Oh. I got no more pain left for any of you. I gave it the office. So what do you want? I want them to stop looking to me for answers, begging me to speak again, write again, be a leader. I want them to start thinking for themselves and want my privacy. No, I meant, what do you want? Hot dog. Two. <laughs> oh, that was embarrassing. Damn, it's actually cool to see if you're sitting at that height. Go the distance. Oh no. Oh no. Freaking voice. Go the distance. What's the matter? You didn't see that? See what? My like God, and they just met, so he's gonna be like, <laughs> "Whenever you want to go, we can go." Fine, let's go. Huh? What a weird day. What is it you're not telling me? Now he's curious. I wish I had your passion, Ray. Misdirected though it might be, it is still a passion. I used to feel that way about things, but 
You think I'm crazy. I already think you're crazy. That's true. What did it say? <laughs> Nothing left to lose. Said the man's done enough. Leave him alone. No, come on, tell him, tell him. Oh. Moonlight Graham. Son. So what? New York Giants, 1922. He played one game, never got to bat. You saw it. What did I see, Ray? Sir Chisholm, Minnesota. It's all right to admit it. Did you hear it? Go the distance. Do you know what it means? It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. Road trip in. It doesn't even need to pack and check it. Just like get in the car. <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh, this is great. After a long day to just sit back and watch this movie. We're going to Minnesota now. I don't believe this. What's in Minnesota? I'm so scared that by the time he gets home, the house will be in trouble. Or that maybe after looking, following all the clues, they get some luck and can keep the farm. Why didn't you tell him? He wants to protect him. We're looking for an ex-baseball player named Archibald Graham. Oh, you mean Doc Graham? No, I think his nickname was Moonlight. Well, that's Doc Graham. His uh, baseball career never amounted to much, so he went back to school. His father was a doctor. Doc Graham is dead. He died in 1972. And there were times when children could not afford eyeglasses or milk or clothing. Oh. No child was ever denied these essentials because in the background there was always Dr. Graham. Without any fanfare or publicity, the glasses or the milk or the ticket to the ball game found their way into the child's pocket. You're a good writer. So are you. <laughs> he had white hair and he always carried an umbrella. What was the umbrella for? If you asked him, he really said he used it to beat away his lady admirers. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about his wife. She always wore blue. The shopkeepers in town would stock blue hats because they knew if Doc walked by, he'd buy one. That's so sweet. When they cleaned out his office, they found boxes of blue hats that he never got around to give her. I bet you didn't know that. No, I didn't. Yeah. Did you know you're missing? Shoot. You, uh, want me to... Thanks. Awkward. What did I tell him? Dad, I'm on an adventure. Wait. They go back in time? Doctor, doctor. Doctor Graham? My name's Ray Kinsella. I'm... From Iowa. Are you Moonlight Graham? No one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. Well, I've come a very long way to see you. <laughs> you know, I couldn't sleep tonight. Usually I sleep like a baby. Do you mind if I join you? Well, when you got to the majors, you, you played only one inning of one game. What happened that inning? I get the vibes of uh, Midnight in Paris, I think the movie was, where they like travel through time and all of that. And like constantly meeting different characters from different eras. It was like having this close to your dream. And then watch them brush past you like a stranger in a crowd. You know, we just don't recognize the most significant moments of our lives while they're happening. Back then I thought, well, there'll be other days. I didn't realize that that was the only day. Oh. If you could do anything you wanted, if you could have a wish. And you're the kind of a man who could grant me that wish? I don't know, I'm just asking. Oh. I never got to bat in the major leagues. I'd have liked to have that chance just once. So can he connect his team with him or something? What would you say if I said yes? Road trip and back home. <laughs> well, sir, there's a place where things like that happen. And if you want to go, I can take you. Field of dreams. Oh, I really think you're supposed to come with us. I mean, it would kill some men to get that close to their dream and not touch it. If I'd only gotten to be a doctor for five minutes. Now that would have been a tragedy. I better be getting home. At least you'll think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> And then I figured, maybe we're not supposed to take him with us. Damn, like, what to do? If he got in a hit, he might have stayed in baseball. That's true. That's true, though. If he didn't become a doctor, people would have died. I talked to the bank, and I asked them if we could miss a payment or two. And they told me that they had just sold the note on the farm to Mark and his partners. 
Right, so they own the paper now. And he says, if we don't sell to them, they're going to foreclose. Whoa, I don't know how this works, but what the hell? I've got to take Mr. Mann back to Boston first, all right? So it's... Uh... No, I'm going to Iowa with you. I'm kind of hoping that he is rich and can help them. Hmm, what about doctor? Like, do we still... What's that about? I need all the Carmine can get right now. If that's the doctor in his young range, I'm gonna die. Well, if it's okay with you, I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. Would you think that it would be the younger doctor version? No. I'm Archie Graham. See? Oh my god! I love this movie! <laughs> oh. That's so wholesome, Archie. But then this true though, that if he hits that ball, he might not become a doctor. So that's that. What happened to your father? He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. So when I was 14, I started to refuse. Why 14? That's when I read The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, God. I never played catch with him again. You see, that's the kind of crap people always have to lay on me. I'm <laughs> I packed my thing, said something awful, and left. Aww. After a while, I wanted to come home, but I didn't know how. Made it back to the funeral. That's sad. What was the awful thing you said? I said I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Who was his hero? Shoeless Joe Jackson. Son of a bitch died before I could take it back. Oh, that must be awful. This is your penance. I know. I can't bring my father back. So the least you can do is bring back his hero. We'll figure it out. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Terry. And this young fella is, this is Archie Graham. Archie? He's coming to practice with the team. Well, he's going to be able to do a lot more than that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank God they came back. The longer they would stay, there would have been five teams. Thanks, Joe. They can all see it. That shoot is Joe Jackson. <laughs> of course it is. I mean, you didn't believe me? Oh, my. God. His face. <laughs> hey, that's Smokey Joe Wood. And Mel Ott. And Gil Hodges. And the Ty Cobb wanted to play. None of us could stand a son of a bitch when we were alive, so we told him to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you came to play ball, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Unbelievable. It's more than that. It's perfect. Feel of dreams. I actually like the concept of baseball a lot. I'm not really into the... I think it's American football thing. I like soccer, what we call football, <laughs> a lot, tactical-wise. And I, I like baseball a lot as well. The concept of like hitting and then like running is just a, such a rush of like, come on! What do you throw at the kid for? All right, those first two were high and tight. So what do you think the next one's going to be? Either low and away or in my ear. So look for low and away. Yes! And he needs to get to the next one before yet. Okay, nice. It's one wish. Ray. Ray, it's time to put on your little fantasies and come down to Earth. You mean... Can't can't see any of it. Well, who's this? Elvis? As a matter of fact, it's Terrence Mann. Yeah, right. How do you do? I'm the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Ray, you have Look, no I'm money. not selling Ray, you Ray, my Ray, you home. have no money. Daddy, you don't have to sell the farm. I'm offering you a way to keep your home because I love my sister. Now my partners, Ray, they don't give a damn about you and they're ready to foreclose right now. Daddy, we don't have to sell the farm. People will come. Hello, little genius. We'll just decide to take a vacation, see? And I'll come to Iowa City. You'll think it's really boring, so they'll drive up and want to pay us, like buying a ticket. <laughs> It'll be just like when they were little kids a long time ago, and they'll watch the game and remember what it was like. What the hell is she talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ray. I don't feel like you're sorry though, but okay. They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. They'll turn up your driveway 
not knowing for sure why they're doing it. They'll arrive at your door as innocent as children longing for the past. They'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. For it is money they have and peace they like. Sit in shirt sleeves on a perfect afternoon. <laughs> He's finding his purpose. It'll be as if they dipped themselves in magic waters. The memories will be so thick that I have to brush them away from their faces. You sell now or you lose everything. Why is the voice not saying anything? America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers, but baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, is a part of our past, Ray. The music, the trumpet. You will lose everything. I'm so scared for him. People will come. He's gonna rip it. Oh, you're crazy. You're absolutely not. Can't do it, pal. I mean, you build a baseball field in the middle of nowhere, and you sit here and you stare at nothing. Not nothing. And you turn your daughter into a damn space. Get your case. hands off! I'm trying to help you, right. damn it! Woo! <laughs> anyway. Dr. Graham is gonna learn that he's got his wish but still needs to become a doctor. Omni. Just wait. Oh my god, I would not be messing with this. What do we got here? <laughs> this child's choking to death. Hold it steady now. Hot dog stuck in her throat. I got a little heart attack there. I was like, don't let this movie end in a horrendous way. You can't go back, can it's you? It's alright. I'm sorry. It's alright. He had his wish. I best be getting on home. Oh. Before Alicia begins to think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> Wouldn't work for me one day, would you, boy? Or in the end, they do decide to end it and let them step off and sell that part so they go because of dreams are fulfilled. When did these ball players get here? <laughs> you were good. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I have a jar of wholesomeness in my body and it's just like filling up the whole movie. Now it's like. Poof. All the wholesomeness everywhere. You got to keep this farm. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Hey, do you want to come with us? What? what? No, not you. Him. <gasps> Wait a second. Why him? I built this field. You wouldn't be here for work for me. Well, sick. you wouldn't be here for work. You have a family. I know, but I want to know what's out there. But you're not invited. What do you mean I'm not invited? I gave an interview. What? What interview? What are you talking about? The one about Evans Field, the one that charged you up and sent you all the way to Boston to find Aww. me. But you were kidnapping me at the time, you big jerk. Well, you lied you to big me. jerk. You said your finger was a gun. <laughs> <laughs> there is something out there, Ray. And if I had the courage to go through with this, what a story it'll make. People will come. Are you going to write about it? Well, you better write about it. And then people will come. I want a full description. <laughs> Take care of this family. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that his dad or something? It's my father. Oh my God. Ease his pain. Go the distance. It was you. It was you. It was you. Oh, that's beautiful. I only saw him years later when he was worn down by life. He's got his whole life in front of him and I'm not even a glint in his eye. Your hero is not a criminal dad. I just wanted to thank you folks for putting up this field. Letting us play here. <laughs> oh. I'm Ray. Oh. My wife, Annie. This is my daughter, Karen. Karen, this is my... This is John. Hi, John. Hi, John. <laughs> it's very nice meeting you. Yeah. Damn, his dad is good looking. <laughs> oh, 
this is so sweet. Like, I'm, oh. Can I ask you something? Is, is this heaven? <gasps> it's Iowa. <laughs> is there a heaven? Oh, yeah. It's the place dreams come true. What is here? Maybe this is heaven. And for him as well, it is his pain, his pain, because he can say, see him one last time. Dad, you want to have a catch? <laughs> I'd like that. <gasps> and people are coming. Oh. <laughs> uh, we need to prepare. <laughs> oh my god. Um. That was such a beautiful movie. <laughs> I don't know what to do it myself. He helped all of them and himself too. And they can keep the farm. <laughs> and Annie's amazing and Karen Carrie is normal and just the voice himself. <laughs> Hello, kitty. <laughs> I think it's time for me to have some kitty cuddles. Right, honey bun. Yes. Thank you so much for recommending this movie to me. I loved it. It was exactly what I needed. I hope you liked this reaction. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to see the full reaction, you can find that over on Patreon. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye!